Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share 12 easy ways to stop overreacting and stay calm. Ever seen someone get really angry or upset over small things? It's common to struggle with keeping emotions under control, especially when stressed or unsure. Sometimes, when things don't go as planned, people can become very angry or sad, turning small problems into big issues. We'll go over 12 helpful ways to not overreact. The key is to recognize when you're getting emotional and avoid acting impulsively. Many disciplined people use these techniques daily. One, chemical countdown. When you get upset, your brain releases chemicals that make you wanna react quickly. Before responding, pause for a moment. Close your eyes and slowly count to five. This short pause allows the rush of chemicals to settle, helping you to think more clearly and avoid acting on impulse. This little break can be crucial in preventing snap decisions you might regret later. Two, find your roots. Understand the root cause of your strong emotions. If someone's words make you angry, don't just react. Stop and think about why that comment bothers you so much. Understanding the real reason behind your feelings allows you to address it more effectively. Example, you feel irritated when a friend cancels plans last minute. Advice, reflect on why this cancellation bothers you. Is it the change of plans or does it feel like a lack of respect? Understanding this can guide your response. Three, sources of resentment. Holding on to anger or negative feelings can lead to more profound emotional issues. For example, if you have an argument, it's essential to discuss and resolve it instead of letting resentment build up. The longer you hold on to these emotions without addressing them, the more challenging it becomes to let them go. Unresolved feelings can linger and affect your well being. Four, name your emotions. Sometimes we react because we're overwhelmed by a mix of emotions and can't pinpoint what we're feeling. In these moments, try to identify your exact emotions. Are you feeling angry, sad, impatient, or embarrassed? Naming your emotions can reduce their intensity and make them more manageable. This clarity helps you address your feelings more constructively. Five, manage your stress. Stress can amplify your emotional reactions. When you're stressed, even minor issues can provoke strong emotional responses. Regularly engaging in stress-reducing activities like writing, meditating, or exercising can help lower your stress levels. This makes it easier for you to think clearly and control your emotions more effectively. Example, you're feeling overwhelmed with your to-do list. Advice. Take a break for a stress-relieving activity, like a short walk or meditation. This can help you return with a clearer mind. Six, opportunities for expression. Many people lose control over their emotions because they don't express them. Men, in particular, might suppress their feelings. It's vital to find healthy ways to express your emotions, such as journaling, talking to a friend, or consulting a therapist. Regular emotional expression leads to better self-understanding and emotional management. Seven, channel your feelings. Expressing your emotions isn't limited to talking or writing. You can channel them into activities like sports, hobbies, or creative arts. These activities occupy your mind and can help you feel more relaxed and clear-headed. Redirecting your emotions into something positive can significantly change your emotional state. Eight. The empathy routine. When you're upset with someone, try to see the situation from their perspective. Empathy helps to soften strong emotions and can lead to mutual understanding. It's not just about calming down. Empathy also enhances your emotional intelligence and helps you approach situations more thoughtfully. For example, you're upset with your partner for forgetting an important date. Try to understand their perspective Maybe they were under stress. Empathy can soften your reaction and promote understanding. Nine, possess your emotions. Many people hide their true feelings because they feel embarrassed. 
it's essential to acknowledge and take responsibility for your emotions. Accepting your feelings as valid and not something to be ashamed of is a crucial step in emotional management. For example, you feel embarrassed after making a mistake in a social setting. What to do? Acknowledge your embarrassment rather than pretending it didn't affect you. Owning your feelings is healthier than suppressing them. 10. The boiling point. Recognize when your emotions are reaching a peak, a point where they might overflow. This is often referred to as the boiling point. When you sense this happening, take a step back from the situation to cool down. This prevents you from saying or doing things in the heat of the moment that you might later regret. 11. Create your mantra. In times of emotional turmoil, a personal mantra can be a powerful tool. This could be a phrase or a set of words that remind you of your values or goals. Repeating this mantra can help shift your focus from negative emotions to what truly matters to you. Finding a mantra that resonates with you might take time, but it's a valuable tool for emotional regulation. 12. The Power of Breath Breathing exercises are a simple yet effective way to manage emotions. Focused breathing influences your nervous system, helping to control the fight or flight response. When you find yourself overwhelmed, take deep, slow breaths. This practice can significantly calm your mind and provide a sense of control over your emotions. Remember, managing emotions is a skill that takes practice. These steps can guide you in developing better emotional control and leading a more balanced life. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content.